okay. So you can see that um, installing the car seat into the car has two different ways you can install it. These little tabs right here show you where the anchor system is. If you choose to use the anchor, again, the child would be under 40 pounds for you to do this. And you simply would take this, hook it in on each side, and then tighten it. With a forward-facing seat, one of the most important things is the tether, and I'll explain exactly how to use that in a second. If you choose not to use the anchor or the child's over 40 pounds and cannot use the anchor system, then you're gonna install with a car seat. And this is one of the most common mistakes parents make. They know to take the seat belt and put it through the belt path. Make sure that you install it with the right receiver there. But then they think that it's installed, but it's not. The car seat is still not installed because this webbing constantly gives. So in order to install it and get it tight with the seat belt, you have to pull this all the way out until you hear this wrenching noise. And you're gonna hear it click back in. And when, you, when it's doing that, it will not come back out. It's actually in a locking mode. And you simply put your hand in it and tighten it down. You don't want the seat to move more than an inch from side to side. Even if the tellers are used or the seat belt, it's the same tightening. Um, so you have the seat belt through, you have the fastens, the two fastens in the back are clipped? No, one or the other. One or the other? Yes, you either use a seat belt or you use a latch. You do not use both. Okay, so we use the seat belt, we didn't use the latch. We didn't use the latch because we're gonna assume in this forward facing seat, the child might be at least we 40 pounds. to make sure we had extra slack. We heard the clicking and we heard we the clicking, we pushed it in. Now are we done? You put some, no, you're not done. And that's where a lot of parents do make a mistake. In a forward facing seat, once all this is done, I'm gonna undo this to show you where this is. But a tether has to be used. In an event of a crash, we want that child's head and spine protected as much as possible. If a tether is not used, this seat's going to come forward like this. And what's going to happen is you're going to be at greater risk for a head or neck injury. This tether strap is on every seat that goes forward facing. And a lot of parents, because it hangs back here, don't really know what it's for. It goes over the back of the seat, and I'm going to show you this Volvo is very easy to use. Because I can show you right back here, there's a latch. And that's what that's tethered to. All vehicles after 2002 that have the anchoring system will also have that latch. Okay. So regardless if you use the anchors or the seat belt, you have to use that tether. It's hugely important for protecting their neck and their spine. Now are we done? Now are we done, yes. So either the fastens or the seat belt. Either the latch or the seat belt. Make sure the seat belt is locked. If the seat belt doesn't lock, you need to use something called a locking clip. And those come with the seat. I think this one has one. It's right here. If you have any questions how to use it, a certified technician's probably your best bet because they are a little bit more complicated if your car is older than 2002. So really there's three steps you should be clicking into place. Yes, you should be clicking either both anchors and the latch, the seat belt, making sure that it's locked, that's huge, and the tether. So the seat belt, the seat belt can take the place of an anchor if you don't yes. have anchors in your car seat, making sure it's- Or if the child's over 40 pounds. Or if the child's over 40 pounds, making sure there's no extra slack and then fastening it over the back of the seat. Right, and putting that tether strap on. Thank you so much. You're welcome.